Dear friends, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the message box, some smart features, which would be helpful while you are working on a project. What are those features? Let's see in this video. Do not skip, watch it till the end. Now the very first thing, let me drag and drop the message box. And currently, let me also show you the edition that I'm using 2024.2.1 community edition. This is the edition which I'm currently using. And here, if you see the feature, very interesting feature, which we were expecting uh, a long back, you must have already seen it. In case not, this is the one automatically close after. So sometimes while you are developing, many times you'd like to show a message box and show some message. Let's say it is going to get into this module it is going to click on a specific button uh, it is going to enter specific details so something you like to show a message but earlier we used to we have to click on ok it or cancel it right right now you have this feature called automatically close after let me show you how it works let me first enter hi and then let me add one more let me use this property and here let it close in two seconds for example and let me just copy paste and let me say i'm going to say good morning this is a sample text i'm writing but again you must have understood practically this would be very very helpful when you have to demonstrate something and you would like to instead of talking you would also like to show certain message uh, during your automation run so this would be helpful now look at it how it is going to run now let me quickly run this so here see hi came good morning came rakesh so automatically everything is happening without me trying to click on ok it is automatically auto auto close so based on the time you like to give three seconds five seconds until then it is going to wait so this is one feature this is another feature for example let's say there are two you know there's a workflow that you are continuing now you are showing now the bot is entering a value in a text box in the application and somebody is verifying it let's say if i'm hitting on cancel the bot should not continue to the rest of the workflow it should stop so here there's an option called buttons and I'm going to use OK and cancel button. Only if the user selects OK, getting it? If he selects OK, then it should show me good morning. If, if he hits on cancel, then it should not execute the rest of the steps. So for example, let's understand this, how it works. So here I'm going to use a out option, uh, the output property. And I will say user selection. I'll create a variable, hit on enter. And this variable would be mostly a string variable. Let me show you what output comes. Okay. And that also let me show you in a message box. So here I am going to write that variable user selection. And let us run it. Or simply debug it. Okay. Look at it how it's going to work. First, see if I'm going to hit on OK. So what happened? The user selection has come as OK. Sorry, because I think I have kept the or I'll make, keep it none. I'll not use anything. All right. So here, let me not use anything. So now let's debug this. So if I'm going to hit on OK, the value of the user selection variable should say OK. Now, for example, if I'm going to hit on cancel, now the value of this is saying cancel. Now, if you understood how the value is coming, you know how to terminate it also. So let me show you. For example, if I'm only hitting on OK, it should continue and show me uh, some message. For example, let's say good morning. Otherwise, it should stop there. So here I'm going to use, for example, let me use a if activity. And in the if activity, let me use the user selection variable equals to 
if it is cancel then i would like to terminate the workflow so i'm going to use this activity terminate workflow and here i'll pass a message user has cancelled or user has clicked on the cancel button okay some message i'm typing so if users hits on cancel in that message box then the terminate workflow should execute and it should not show me this message box let me show you okay so now i'm going to hit on cancel let's some message has appeared and then user thought okay this automation is not working properly i must stop it so i'm hitting on cancel the moment i cancel what happened user has clicked on the cancel button and the automation stopped it did not execute if you go to the output panel workflow terminated ex an exception so the exception is raised and it got stopped now for example if i'm going to hit on okay then it should continue so if i'm going to hit on okay so the workflow will continue and this message has appeared so this also will be lot of help during your testing right when you are doing unit testing or integration testing where you would like to stop and see what is happening if some wrong value is being entered then you would like to cancel and stop the process you don't like to come here and stop it rather you would like to can you know from the message box itself you would like to control it so all these things can be done if you know how to use this property and how to you know enable this buttons okay cancel yes no cancel and all that getting it so this is one of the area i felt might be of some help when you are doing unit testing using lot of message boxes and you are coming to studio and stopping so these are the option you could utilize so thank you guys for watching let's meet once again with one more informative video thank you